Hello, my name is Steve Ball. I work for the Telethon Kids Institute in Perth, Western Australia, and I'd like to tell you about some new evidence in relation to the effects of pregnancy spacing. For some time now, it's been thought that the amount of time between pregnancies is an important risk factor for preterm birth, low birth weight, and small for gestational age. Many studies describe this J-shaped relationship where the lowest risk is for pregnancies that start approximately two years after a previous birth. And international guidelines currently recommend that women leave two years before trying to have another baby. For shorter intervals, it's thought that there may be insufficient time to recover physically from the previous child. And for pregnancies that follow a long break, it's thought that the beneficial physical adaptations of going through a previous pregnancy might be lost over time. So there are good reasons for thinking that pregnancy spacing is important. But until now, the science on pregnancy spacing has been based on comparing mothers. But as we know, every mother is different. So what looks like an effect of pregnancy spacing might re be really caused by differences in background, lifestyle and health. Previous studies have tried to adjust for these factors, but there's always the possibility that we miss key aspects of the differences between mothers. Here at the Telethon Kids Institute, we took a completely new approach to analysing the effects of pregnancy spacing. To remove the variation between mothers, we shifted the focus onto individual mothers. Using data from the Western Australian Midwives Notification System, we looked at the births of more than 40,000 Perth mothers between 1980 and 2010 who'd each had three children. This diagram represents an individual mother who has had six months between the birth of her first child and the start of the pregnancy of her second child. And then she's had 24 months between the birth of her second child and the start of the pregnancy of her third. Overall, this provides a rich data set with all sorts of combinations of pregnancy spacing within individual mothers. This enabled us to ask, if a mother changes the spacing between her pregnancies, does this change the risk of preterm birth, low birth weight, and small for gestational age? To do this, we used a maternally matched model which effectively treats each mother as her own control for the factors which predispose her children to poor birth outcomes. But for comparison, we also used an unmatched model, which was just based on comparisons between mothers. And this is what we found. For preterm birth, when we used the maternally matched design, there was very little effect of pregnancy spacing. However, the unmatched design showed the same sort of pattern seen in previous studies. This difference between the two models suggests a role of statistical confounding in the unmatched model. In other words, what looks like an effect of pregnancy spacing is really being caused by a difference between mothers. This is even after we adjusted for maternal age, birth number, year of birth, socioeconomic status, ethnicity, and the outcome of the previous birth. For low birth weight, the data looked like this. The maternally matched design showed little effect of short pregnancy spacing, but an effect of long intervals. However, the unmatched design showed an apparent effect of both short and long intervals. And for small for gestational age, the data looked very similar for both models, with very little effect of short intervals, but an effect of long intervals. These results suggest that pregnancy spacing is not important for individual mothers, and this really challenges the existing thinking about the effects of pregnancy spacing on preterm birth, low birth weight, and small for gestational age. To our knowledge, this is the first study of its kind to analyse the effects of pregnancy spacing in this way. And a key next step would be to look at, apply our method to disadvantaged populations where mothers may have a harder time recovering between pregnancies. We acknowledge the huge body of previous evidence on the effects of pregnancy spacing and the importance of international guidelines. However, we hope that our research leads to a broader re-evaluation of the effects of pregnancy spacing.